What's going on guys? I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel. So uh, I've been thinking a lot about what to do for my first video and I don't know so just gotta start somewhere, huh? So uh, so yeah, my name is Daniel. I come from Faroe Islands. Um, you should see it on a map somewhere there. And um, It's super small. We're like 50,000 people and 80,000 sheep. So, so. And, uh, so I moved to the UK three months ago. Uh, I just, uh, I've always lived in Faroe Islands, I've never tried, I traveled a lot, but I never lived anywhere else, so uh, I just wanted to try to try something new, live somewhere else, and uh, see all the opportunities that are out there. And uh, I always had an eye out for property, I always wanted to buy a house, maybe to rent out and do something with it, but in 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 the Faroe Islands it's so small, so it's it's, it's not that... It's not as good as in the UK. It's it's easier in the UK. So so I saw a lot of potential to come here. To it could be be way easier. Well, maybe I shouldn't shouldn't say easier. It's, it's never easy to get into something. You have to work for it. So you have to put get all the knowledge you can get and learn all about the stuff. If if you want to be somebody, if you want to be successful, and. Uh, like Einstein said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So that was basically my life because I always worked a lot, a lot of hours and expecting it just work more than you get more. But basically I just found out that if you work more you pay more tax so that didn't really work out. So, so I came here, I've studied a lot, I've been to loads of uh, meetings and courses and met loads of, loads of investors and, uh, and JV partners and everything, so that's been great so far. I have even started my own company right now, it's called Daniel's Deals. It sounds like Daniel's Steals, but it's not, it's Deals. Uh, a friend told me that it sounded like that after I, I made the company, but so I'm currently uh, looking all around for every gold mine area, doing my research and due diligence and everything about all around. Basically, I'm looking up north for uh, their cheaper houses. So you can do as Samuel said, uh, Samuel Leeds. You everybody knows him on YouTube should should be. But uh, buy low rent high. It's a great strategy, and that's great up north and down down here south. It's uh, a great strategy. It could be uh, uh, rent to rent or uh, I would say BRR, uh, buy, refurbish, refinance. That's a great strategy, but you just have to find the right, right properties. So in my free time, I'm actually reading a lot of books uh, to get all the knowledge I can get. Because uh, of course, when you start out in some in something, you just have to uh, fish in all the knowledge everywhere uh, that you can get, and. Uh, I must say, yeah, the first three books that I read uh, were audio books, so I didn't read them. I, yeah, listen. But uh, actually, I was a lorry driver back at home, so I used to just press play and uh, listen to everything. And uh, so the first book was actually um, "The Richest Man in Babylon" by uh, George S. Klassen, and then the second one was "Rich Dad Poor Dad" by Robert Kiyosaki, and then. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Uh, they basically opened my eyes for business, uh, finding out everything about it. It was boom. <laughs> then I got this book, uh, Screw It, Just Do It by Sir Richard Branson. Uh, it's just a, a great book. It's all about you just have to put yourself out there and Go for it. Uh, you don't have any. You, you don't have anything to lose. Uh, lots of story. You know he's just tried it all with his crazy stories. And uh, and my second book was actually this one, Whatever It Takes, by Alastair Cunningham. It, this was actually the perfect thing I, I was looking for uh, in a book. It's everything. Um, you know, there's formulas and uh, sheets and. Uh, even how to start a company step by step in this, uh, a sourcing company. Uh, uh, he is a major deal sourcer, deal packager. So it's amazing book. 
Then I read this book by um, legendary uh, Samuel Leeds, Buy Low, Rent High. Uh, great book. I, I got it from Amazon a few days before I went to his crash course, actually. So I just wanted to read the book and get all the knowledge from the book before I even meet, meet the guy. And uh, so that was very good. It's just, I think it's a little bit more respectful if you like. If you're going to meet a man, then you just, if you got a book, you have to read this book. So I only read this one, not the other one, but I haven't gotten the other yet, so I, I'm still waiting. But a great book, uh, loads of knowledge in here, uh, great strat strategies, and uh, great that they use numbers and everything. So you can like see what it's all about and their ROIs and everything. That's, that's just great. And then currently I'm actually reading this book by David Siegler, uh, Gets Into Property. He's a super legend and a great guy, funny guy. Uh, not, not only because of his stripy shirts, but, but he's just a great guy and this book has loads of knowledge. It's perfect for beginner and experts just to get an eye into property and everything. It's very good so far. I'm not done with it yet. And so far it's very good, even from falling to floors and everything. Funny stories and great book. And uh, next, I'm, I'm looking forward to read this. Uh, it's Rent to Rent by Jackie Edwards. Uh, I've heard good things about it. I don't know what it's... It's obviously about Rent to Rent, but I don't know actually what it is about. So I'm. this will be uh, hopefully a blast to, to read. And... Uh, then I got this one, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. I'm, I actually got did start on it, but I got a little bit sidetracked by David Siegler's book. But it's it's very good. I read only a small part. It's it's I think it's more about mindset. You have to set your mind into it and don't fall in the pits. And it's I think it, it, it will be good, helpful. It's super great. Then there's this one by Sir Richard Branson again, Business Strip Bear. Uh, I don't know anybody who read this book, so I just saw the book and had to buy it. Uh, it's obviously something about business, so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to reading this. And then there's this one, uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Uh, loads of people have recommended me this book and I've heard, I've even seen YouTube videos about it. It's supposed to be good, so hopefully it'll be a super good one. It's It doesn't mean that I don't have friends or, I don't know, I'm talking to a camera, so who knows. But, but of course it's... I've heard good things about it. It has to be good, so um, it it should be a blast to read. Cool. I must say that the book that really had me started going it was the Richest Man in Babylon, the first book. Uh, I've never been a reader. I've never. I always hated school, hated reading, and everything. So uh, the first book I got through uh, was basically the Richest Man in Babylon. Obviously, I did listen to it. It was very good and I even loved the way he was talking about making money work for you and even the one he's just talking about always pay yourself first. So it's a great book, I would recommend it to everybody out there. Um, loads of knowledge, you get everything out of it, it's, it's just great. Alright guys, I will leave all the books in the description and thanks for watching and see you in the next one.